A common misconception when going plant-based is that you can't get enough protein from plants. So I wanted to create this video to show you what it is that I eat in a day to reassure you that you can get enough protein from plants. For breakfast, what I normally eat is a nice big bowl of oatmeal. So I, I eat about three quarters of a cup of oatmeal, but I also add to it one tablespoon of almond butter, one tablespoon chia seeds, one tablespoon flax seeds, and uh, one tablespoon of hemp seeds. So with the almond butter, the hemp seeds, and the oats, that alone is about 20 grams of protein. I also top my oatmeal off with some berries as well as a little dash of cinnamon for flavor and then a little bit of coconut milk as well. So breakfast alone is 20 grams. And then on the days that I work out, I do actually take in a protein shake. I do plant-based protein, which is about 21 grams of protein. It's brown rice and pea to get all the nine essential amino acids. So I'll do a shake. Sometimes if you want to add a little extra protein, you can do flax, chia, hemp as well to increase the protein content of your shake. But um, 21 grams is, is enough for me. And I'll also throw in sometimes some spinach, some beets. But right now I'm doing pumpkin puree with pumpkin spice because it is pumpkin season. Uh, but you can also get a little bit of protein from your vegetables as well. And then for lunch, what I'm gonna have is a wrap, a wrap made from coconut. So I have a wrap, this is one of the brands I like to use from Thrive Market, but it's just made from coconut meat. And in the wrap, what I like to do is put a layer of avocado, kale, and then I have um, a black rice mixture that I made for some meals and had left over. So black rice has a little bit of protein. This also has a little bit of um, pineapple and mangoes with some herbs for flavor. And then I top off the rice with some tempeh. And I usually meal prep the tempeh ahead of time. I just do a simple marinade with coconut minos and and uh, smoked paprika, but um, one bar of tempeh, you can cut it out. And if you measure about 100 grams, that's 18 grams of protein right there. So I'll get uh, my protein mainly from tempeh in my wrap, but with the rice, it's about 15 and a half grams of protein right there. Then for the afternoon, I have a mid-afternoon snack, and that usually is about a quarter cup of of nuts and I'll eat a variety of different nuts. So I'll have almonds, walnuts, and Brazil nuts. Those are my favorite. And a quarter cup of nuts on average is about six grams of protein right there. Then for dinner, what I have tonight is some chili that my husband and I, we pre-prepped pre to have enough for like three, four meals. But in the chili, it's a pumpkin chili. It doesn't have any tomatoes because I get um, upset stomach from tomatoes, but this has pumpkin puree, a can of black beans, can of kidney beans. I also have one pepper, which has a little bit of protein and some butternut squash. But once I prep the chili, I also add quinoa to it. So my main source of protein is coming from the beans and quinoa, but uh, one serving of chili is about 15 grams of protein. So if you add all those up, I'm getting in about 77 and a half grams of protein today. And, uh, if you think about what is the average intake that someone needs for protein, it's 0.8 grams per kilogram per day. So for my body weight, I need about 47 grams of protein on average, but because I'm very active, I do go to the gym three to five times a week. Twice a week, I will run a mile and a half, but I also do just primarily strength training, a little bit of yoga, so it's very intense. I do need a lot more protein. And based off my body weight, I need 1.2 to 1.4 grams, and that's about 70 to 82 grams daily. So 77 and a half falls pretty much right there within that range. I think I'm getting in enough protein. So I wanted to share this with you just to give you reassurance that you can get enough protein. The key is to just eat different types of plant sources, so grains, beans, vegetables, you're gonna get um, all your protein. Oh, also, you know, soy, that's a big soy tempa. Um, those are gonna be your biggest sources of protein there. And for more information, check out my post on plant-based sources of protein where I list out how many grams per serving. Um, other than that, uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Live with intention and be radiant.